All right, Sierra Leone decides 2023. Sierra Leone Supreme Court has made a landmark ruling in favor of President Julius Marabio's decision to change the country's electoral system to proportional representation electoral system ahead of the June 24th multi-tier elections. Sierra Leone's Chief Justice Desmond Babatunde Edwards, in agreement with four other justices, said the directive of President Bill told the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone to hold the June 24th elections for ordinary members of parliament by the proportional representation electoral system is constitutional. The case was brought by lawyers representing the opposition APC party, JFK, um, Joseph Fitzgerald Cameron Partners on behalf of the first plaintiff, Abdul Kabo, a member of parliament, and the second plaintiff, um, Councillor Akira to Maxwell Kolka against the Attorney General and Minister of Justice as first defendant and the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone as the second defendant, respectively. In their ruling, the Supreme Court Justices Desmond Babatunde Edwards, who was the presiding, George Nicholas Brown Mark, M. Dean Tarawali Alusansisi, and AICC dismissed all claims made by the plaintiff's lawyers. An order restraining the second defendant electoral commission, its agents, servants, previous or however called from taking steps aimed at conducting the June 24th multi-tier elections on the district proportional representation electoral system is refused. Chief Justice Edwards said in agreement with his colleague justices, tonight we are looking at the outcome of the judgment and where that puts the country for the June 24th elections. My name is Samia Wise Bangura and this is AYV on Sunday. All right, good evening and a very warm welcome to AYV on Sunday. Today we are looking at the judgment on the PR system and where that puts the country for the June 24th multi-tier elections um, this year. Yeah, with me, all, as always, I invite people who are in touch with the issues. But um, presently in the studio, I have um, lawyer Lansana Dumbuya, who is aspiring for the Secretary General post of the Opposition All People's Congress Party. Good evening and welcome to the show, lawyer Dumbuya. Yeah, good evening, um, Samuel Wise, and good evening to viewers. All right, we are with the Solicitor General, um, lawyer Robert Kowa to be part of the conversation, lawyer Francis Gabidon and lawyer Rashid Dumbuya to be part of the panel tonight. But just before we get um, into the conversation here in the studio, you can always be part of our conversation, share your thoughts, ask your questions, just drop them on the AYV News Facebook page. We would go through some of them, but please, we always admonish that you, 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 you tailor your comments or messages to the issues being discussed here on this program. In case you are listening to us on FM 101.7, good evening and welcome. Watching us on Channel 43 on AYV TV and on DSTV Channel 399, good evening to all of you from across Sierra Leone, the continent and the rest of the world. This is AYV on Sunday. But just before we get into the issue itself, um, the court matter. Our um, status correspondent was with um, the presidential team as the president embarked on a nationwide tour. And um, a statement by the chairman of the Salem People's Party got him curious to put together this short clip. Let's take a look. I want to address Una. This Una listen keenly. I don't be like Una style where that MPB they talk. Give respect where respect is due. We don't encourage that in the SAPP. If you are SAPP, you behave maturely and responsibly. It was a very bad reaction. If you want to support anybody, it is full Una. That noise not going to make a symbol. Make it learn. Say, Dr. Adi, don't talk. We will not behave maturely, not to APC Kanaya. Let me be glad that woman don't left APC because it's Sandor Waman. So, do ya? Where will they talk? Say, tell the Gunab Nag Bamba took. Many messages go Nag Bamba took. Do ya? We don't want this. We don't pass all over this country. One for year, we did the president they talk. I don't want to talk today, but for that, now we have a message so that the bullets don't give you. I advise Una the young man that I don't smell now today. Do your own recommendation. Will they come back? 
If we don't get anything, the party hierarchy day, we don't lay on a complain. And we don't support the one who can forget symbol. And we don't give symbol because it's called and Kolewu. We don't give symbol because it's Sierra Leonean. This is a PR system. We don't know that. So now we don't banner. We don't go to banner no more. We don't go to Sabi. Now PR system. We don't give to a Sierra Leonean. We're worthy for be able to represent this country internally and externally. Dr. Prince Alex Arden, chairman of the ruling Serlion People's Party, making a comment there about the use of the proportional representation electoral system during the nationwide tour embarked on by the party's leader, who doubles as president of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Julius Madabiu. Well, like I introduced earlier, the only guest um, present at the moment is lawyer Lansana Dumbuya, who is vying for the Secretary General position of the Opposition All People's Congress Party. Um, once again, lawyer Dumbuya, good evening and welcome to AYV on Sunday. But let me also make is that um, we, um, whilst the conversation goes on, would we'll welcome the country's Solicitor General, lawyer Robert Koa. Um, private legal practitioner Francis Gabidon and the executive director for Legal Link Rashid Dumbuya. Um, lawyer Dumbuya, first off, let me let, let me hear your take. What do you make of um, the judgment on Friday by the Supreme Court? Well, uh, for me, um, I've always argued the issue of the PR system vis-a-vis -vis the Constitution, um, constitutional provision section 38 and 38A. And um, I disagree with the judgment of the Supreme Court, and I think it is within my right to do so. Um, I believe that um, um, Sierra Leone should be a country where we should have a peer review you know, system on some of these judgments that are being issued out by whether it's the Magistrate Court, the High Court, or the Court of Appeal or Supreme Court. Mm. In other countries, you have um, um, legal... Um, um, arguments from, mm -hmm. from, from academic, legal academics. Mm -hmm. They will look at the judgments, they will criticize it, they will argue it, and after some time the judges will look at those arguments as a peer review in good faith, and they will, they will, they will accept, you know, um, um, some of the arguments that have been made. But um, um, in Sierra Leone, once you criticize a judgment, the magistrate frowns at you, mm -hmm. and he thinks that he's your enemy. The judge, likewise, um, you know, sometimes he does, but not all of them. But I can say, for me, I disagree with the judgment. I think it's outrightly wrong, and it is unconstitutional that the PR system should be should be uh, um, held at this at this point in time for these coming elections. No, just before, and, uh, just before, quickly, just before I run through the declarations um, there. You, you, you mentioned the magistrate courts, the high courts. The, I mean, these lower courts, for example, I mean, can have the appeals court overturn their judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Supreme Court is the only, I mean, court that can, I mean, go back on its own judgment. Yeah. Uh, have we got to the precedent of of such situation in Sierra Leone, and um, whether or not there, I mean, there is the proclivity for this one in years to come? Um. They, 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 there has been a um, um, few cases in the that's that's far far back in some mm. judgments way back you know, mm. but um, um, nowadays um, um, the Supreme Court, well generally they frown on on turning back on their judgment, mm -hmm. but I think any bench um, that is you know properly constituted and um, a reasoned bench that would want the jurisprudence of this country to grow should be able to look at the decision. They should go back and look at it and read. Not that they will come out rightly immediately and say, oh, this is wrong, but they should be able to discuss amongst themselves and say, no, you know, I think we went, you know, um, 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 we were on the wrong path mm. with regards to this, this particular argument. But um, um, it has not been the case in Sierra Leone, and it is sad that people do not want to look at their rulings and judgments and say to themselves, you know, I have gone wrong in this, in this, in this area, mm -hmm. and decide in the future to change and to go um, um, to a path where the jurisprudence of the country can be improved. Um, mm -hmm. I think we should begin to have some, some um, um, lawyers 
who, who are academics, or even if they are not academics, who are ready to criticize some of these judgments. And But you see, you, again, again, the fact that you, 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 you criticize a judgment does not mean you just criticize it. You have to give reasons mm. why you are criticizing the judgment. And um, for me, with regards to what came out in the, from the Supreme Court, I have argued here, even before the Supreme Court judgment, even before the arguments, well, the argument was made by, 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 by the, 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 the plaintiff, that is um, 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 the APC um, representative and, and the lawyers. I have argued here mm. and in many other um, forums that, um, that um, there is no basis for the PR system. Mm. There is really no basis. I, I, I am looking at the judgment. It's strange to me that the Supreme Court should come out with that kind of decision. But for now, I, I have started looking at the judgment, and mm -hmm. I really want to look at it properly mm -hmm. and, 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 and see. But for what, from a cursory um, glance at it, I still disagree with it, you know, let, vehemently. Let, let, let's, look, let's look at the judgment. So, so here is what um, the plaintiff, the, I mean, the, 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 the plaintiff's um, argument was that, for example, in page 16, it says in his arguments before this court, Leonard Council for the plaintiffs, Dr. Right. Abdullah Usman Conte submitted that the case was not about the merit or the merit of a proportional representation. At the heart of um, this case, he argued, was the crucial issue of whether the 2023 multi-tier elections involving parliamentary and local council selection should be held through a proportional representation <laughs> system, which he concluded strikes at the heart of the rule of law in that whether, I mean, we can truly say as a country, we are governed by the rule of law and the constitution of Sierra Leone. So he further submitted that the proportional representation was not an um, was not an alternative system of election in a democratic country governed by the rule of law. Is that something to go with? Um, I still do not um, appreciate that um, argument because the basis of um, the case before the court was um, was um, that um, the peer system at this point in time was unconstitutional and in various um, 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 sections of the constitutions of the constitution were cited. And um, for me, I believe that um, um, of course any lawyer who has a case, you know, whether he's opposing or um, for the for the argument, will want to put up a kind of argument, whether it's robust or not. But I believe that um, um, for me, um, Mr. Conte is my friend, mm. but um, I think that argument is neither here nor there. I disagree with that argument and believe that. Um, what is before the court is, is, is really um, the PR system, whether it's unconstitutional at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that um, Section 38 is the, is the, is the basis of, of all the arguments. Mm -hmm. Yes, 38A is the amendment which is really the crux of the matter. But you begin from 38 because we are saying 38 is still in existence. That is the basis. I've argued it here, Mr. Mm -hmm. Wise. 38 is still in existence. There is nothing wrong with 38. Mm -hmm. It is when there, you have problems with 38 that you go to 38A. So what is the argument really, whether it's um, from, the, from the state, whether it's the judges, what really is the argument is there, can, can one proffer? Because section 38 is saying that the, con the country should go into election to a constituency system. Mm -hmm. And um, um, the, the life of the constituency is within five and seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven years ends next year, December. Mm -hmm. So what are you really talking about a PR system? Mm -hmm. Whichever argument you put, whether it's the Supreme Court, whether it's the, what, I disagree with their, with we'll, their, with we'll, their reasoning. We'll come to the declarations of the court. Yeah. I mean, interestingly, uh, we, we, we've been able to summarize them so that our, our viewers and our listeners would be able to understand them better. I mean, we've breaking them down. We'll come to them shortly. But let's go back to Friday when um, pr the proceedings was on at the Supreme Court. Let's join um, Balkari Matia, who witnessed, um, who was part of the team that witnessed um, the judgment there at the Supreme Court. This court here by the following declaration. One, that on the proper construction of Section 38A, one of Russian Amendment of Act Number 15. All conditions listed for the holding of or conducting of general elections of ordinary members of parliament through a district representative were met 
and of fulfilled. Two, that the directive given by His Excellency the President to the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone to hold the 2023 elections, public elections for ordinary members of parliament by the district block representation system instead of constituencies was in tandem with the provisions of Section 3821 of the 1991 Constitution as amended and therefore not ultra-violence. Three, that the current parliament will soon be dissolved and thereafter all constituencies currently existing will be distinguished for purposes of representation in parliament in favor of representatives representing each of the 16 districts of Sierra Leone, inclusive of independent candidates who secure the minimum special for the attainment of security of seats in parliament. Four, that the division of constituents are provided in section 34 does lead to a restriction of the number and of establishment of the subject to parliamentary approval. Mm -hmm. Five, that independent candidates can and are part of the electoral system and can stand and be voted for to be included in any of the seats represented in existing 16 districts in the country. Six, that statutory instruments number 13 and 14 of 16th November are part of the laws of Senate and are not under by section 33 and 38 of the Constitution. Act of the 6 of 1991, Section 38A of the as amended in 201, and Section 171 of the Public Elections Act, number 17 of 201. Seven, that portion two and subject to the current law in the country, inclusive of the Constitution, and statutory instruments number 14 and 14 of 16 November 202, local council selection expected to be by district block representations approved. As the vote for the 2020 elections. Eight, an order restraining the second defendant, the Electoral Commission, its agents, servants, previous, or however called, from taking steps in and conducting the 2023 multi tier public elections on the district block representation system is refused. I say that again. An order restraining the second defendant. Electoral Commission, its agent, servants, units, or household of call on taking steps in and conducting the 2023 multi tier public elections on the district block proportional representation system is refused. Emphasis one. Nine, an order directed the second defendant to hold the June 2023 elections for ordinary members of parliament and council on a constituency or what basis is refused. Emphasis one. Cost. On the issue of cost, this court notes that this is a public interest based litigation and hence is not inclined to award the usual cost. A minimal cost is therefore awarded in the sum of 3,000 euros to be borne by both plaintiffs jointly and celebrated to the first the ruling was in favor of the first and second defendant, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice and the Electoral Commission, respectively. Speaking to AYV, councils representing them spoke on what the ruling meant for jurisprudence in general and how this ruling has cemented the ones shaken trust people had on the Electoral Commission, Sierra Leone. What does this mean for uh, the profession? Of course, it's improving on the jurisprudence of Sierra Leone, and a lot of young colleagues will learn from that, and I believe these are things that will be discussed even on the street, the marketplace, and whatever, and I'm um, of the view that people appreciate the way it's being dealt with, because election touches and concerns every individual in this country. Over the last um, two years or more, a lot of questions have been raised on the neutrality and impartiality of the Electoral Commission, our client, particularly so questioning the ability to conduct a credible elections. What the Supreme Court has said today is that they acted lawfully, legally, they followed the procedure, they consulted on it, which means this Electoral Commission, which a lot of people have been bashing, remains to be doing the right thing. 
So we're glad, firstly, to stamp that authority of neutrality and independence as supreme, but also to get a free hand to now continue with the electoral process. Speaking on the way forward, Deputy Chairman of the Human Rights Commission, Sierra Leone, called on election management bodies to now ensure that the sensitization on the proportional representation system be intensified for electorates to understand, especially first-time voters. It's only now I'm left with ECSL and other, um, other institutions to ensure that um, those first-time voters are educated in how to go about the entire process itself, and those who are intending to contest as independent candidates are also given the opportunity to understand how this whole thing works out and also in, 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 in a matter of ensuring that the way the proportional representation is, I mean, to actually improve governance system, you know, as the court has actually now um, put it. So we want to see that um, the, the ECSL and all other agencies that are responsible for elections, they take this particular moment down to, I mean, the, the, the farthest uh, areas to ensure that they educate people so that people will come to understand how this whole thing uh, works out and then how Sierra Leone is actually benefit a little bit all. Councils representing the plaintiffs, politicians of the All People's Congress alike, promised to appropriately comment on the ruling another time. Bokari Matia, AYV News, Freetown. All right, many thanks to Bokari Matia for putting a VAT story um, together. And the, the story speaks to the judgment at the Supreme Court, the proceedings, and uh, after the judgment, after judgment was added down, he spoke to um, counsel representing the two defendants, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, and the Electoral Commission, Sierra Leone. Of course, um, those who represented the plaintiffs um, did not comment at the time and we're trying to also establish contact with them to tell us what do they make of the judgment handed out by the Supreme Court of Sierra Leone. But I still have lawyer Lance and Adumbuya here with me in the studio while we await the arrival of the country's Solicitor General, lawyer Robert Kowa, and private, legal private practitioner, um, Francis Gabidon, lawyer, to join the conversation. Um, lawyer Dumbuya, you've just listened to the judgment and um, what are, uh, I mean, the, the lawyers who represented the two defendants, the Attorney General, Minister of Justice, and the Electoral Commission, um, the Solicitor General for the Attorney General, and um, lawyer Emmanuel Safar Abdullahi for the Electoral Commission, Sierra Leone. And you were, you were referencing um, Section 38. And the first declaration, if I should just quote the Chief Justice directly, he says, all things considered, this court hereby makes the following declarations. One, that on a proper construction of Section 38A of the Constitution Amendment Act Number 15 of 2001, all conditions precedent for the holding of or conducting of general elections of ordinary members of parliament through district block representation system we are met and or, or fulfilled and this has been your argument that i mean the, the conditions have not been there but here's what the highest court of the land has decided has no, interpreted no, 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 no. you see you see hmm. there, is, there is there is a snag there now when you say all conditions hmm. um precedent to the holding of a professional representation according to section 38a have, right. been, have been met mm -hmm. um, um if you look at um, the way and manner in which you, you go about promulgating, you know, going about issuing out the order and also getting the necessary paperwork to be issued to the public, maybe you've met that, but that is not the point. What's the point for you? The point is, are we supposed to go to proportional representation? That is the point. That is the basis. Because, you see, I, I have noticed that um, they, they, they deliberately, um, okay, there are places in the, in, the, in, the, in the judgment where they've talked about Section 38, mm. but Section 38 is the basis. Mm. You do not go into 38A until you have a problem with Section 38. And I, I, sometimes it is difficult when 
you have a clear provision and you have people going around, going around those clear provision, trying to portray it as something that is complicated when it is very plain and simple. Um, um, it, it bothers me, mm. and um, um, for the posterity of for the posterity of this country, um, we should not be toying with the very existence of the democracy of this country. Mm. And um, as I have said, I disagree with the judgment, and and, and seriously. On what disagree basis? With it. On what basis are you disagreeing? On the basis that um, mm. um, 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 the, the the holding of a proportional representation election. Mm by district level is unconstitutional at this point in time. Even it, when the Supreme Court has said it is constitutional? Well, well th th that is why I said I disagree with their judgment. Mm. I mean, if the Supreme Court has said it, so that is what the country should accept for now. The authority because, mandated. Because, um, so. um, um, except we, we, we appeal to God Almighty, um, 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 there is nowhere else for us to appeal. But um, I think it is, it is not a good decision for this country. Mm. And um, 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 even before the, the, the judgment, you see the, the chairman, the chairman of the SLPP, before the judgment, telling people that they're going, uh, the proportional representation is going to hold, as if he knew what was in the judgment. Like, like even know. members of the opposition would say, for example, yes. no, we're not going by PR system before the judgment. Yes, but... Um, um, no, no, that, that, that is because we, we believe that um, we should go by the Constitution. And the Constitution is clear, and um, it bothers me that at this point in time, we are trying to inject um, cloudiness into a clear provision of the Constitution. And that is what the Supreme Court, you know, for me, um, has done. And um, um, I, 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 I believe I would, I would look at the judgment and I will write a piece out for them to see that I am not only criticizing the judgment because I hate members of the bench. <laughs> On the contrary, all of them are my friends, <laughs> you know. I mean, a good number of them, all of them are my friends. But the fact that they um, issued out a judgment that I disagree with does not mean I should, I should be smiling and say it's all well and fine. I disagree with their judgment. I think they are wrong according to my own Opinion. assessment. Mm. That does not mean I am a genius in the law and I am the most clever person in the law. Uh, I cannot um, um, claim that. Mm. But I believe that the provision relating to proportional representation, all the provisions are clear. And, and for me, um, cloudiness has been injected into, into it. When you say cloudiness, looking at the second declaration, it says for that the directive given by His Excellency the President to the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone to all the tw um, 2023 public elections for ordinary members of parliament by the district block representation system instead of constituencies was in tandem with the provisions of section 38A. Yes, yeah, you one see, again, again, again. Of the again. 1991 constitution. Again, again. Mm. Um, is it in tandem with section 38? A subsection one. That is what I'm saying. Before you go to A, you must fulfill or there must be a problem mm. with section 38. Mm. You don't just jump to 38 and A and say we have fulfilled all the condition in 38A. No, you don't do that. Mm. 38A is more or less like a proviso. If this system is, is, is if this system cannot hold because of XYZ, you understand, mm. then you go to section 38A. And even for Section 38A, there are certain provisions in that uh, in particular section that have not been met. Which so, um, 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 let me see. I don't know if you have uh, the provision of um, the Section 38A there. So for the purposes of those of you watching and listening to us, we still await the arrival of the country's Solicitor General, um, Lawyer Robert Kowa. The private legal practitioner of lawyer Francis Gabidon and Rashid Rumbuya, lawyer, the executive director for Legal Link, to be part of the conversation um, tonight. But you continue to share with us your thoughts. Um, we'll find time to go through some of them. Le le let me run through this, um, lawyer Rumbuya. Now, you, t you, you, t you, you talk about the provisions um, that should be met. 38 before going to 38A. Yes. Correct. Yes. Now, um, what the third and the fourth declarations are saying, mm -hmm. that the current parliament will soon be dissolved and thereafter all constituencies currently existing will be extinguished for the purposes of representation in parliament in favor of representatives mm -hmm. representing each of the 16 districts of Sierra inclusive of independent mm -hmm. candidates who secured a minimum threshold 
for the attainment or securing of seats in parliament. And listen what the fourth declaration is saying. That the revision of constituencies as provided in section 38, subsection 4, does not lead to alteration of the number and or the establishment of constituencies subject to parliamentary approval. Um, I disagree. I disagree with those reasoning, you know. Mm. Um, firstly, <laughs> you know, it, it, as I say, a lot of things are, are, have been made cloudy and, and that is a big problem for this country. The, 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 the fact that parliament will be dissolved, mm. you know, in March or so, does not mean the life of the constituencies ends. You know, I mean, the provisions are there that constitute, the life of constituencies ends within five to seven years, five to seven years. Mm. So in March, in March, the constituencies will be still existing until next year, December. So what, 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 I don't really see the argument there to say, uh, I mean, parliaments, in many countries have been dissolved, mm. but that does not extinguish the, the constituencies, you know, existing. Constituencies are always there, they are, they are there, they've already been delimited and demarcated. They are there, the fact that um, the, the, the parliament um, is dissolved does not mean that the life of the constituencies end. No, it doesn't. And I can say that clearly and I, I, I will hold on to that because the constitution provides for the lifespan of constituencies. It says between um, five, five years is the minimum, seven years is the maximum. And seven years the maximum ends next year, December. So why should the, I mean, why should you say that because parliament is going to be dissolved in March, therefore the life of the constituencies end? I, I mean, I mean that's, that's unconstitutional to me. Um, um, um. What, 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 what are your pointers, especially at this point when the, the, the highest court of the land has interpreted the, the very provision for which members of your party, I mean, took um, the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General and the Electoral Commission too, and they relied on the judgment, on the wisdom of that very court. And that court of has, <laughs> has interpreted the, 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 the very provision of the Constitution, and what's there to challenge? Of course. No, no, no. You, we can, there's nothing you, you're going to challenge anymore, but that does not mean one cannot criticize the judgment. Mm. Even the House of Lords, you know, there are many, many um, articles criticizing some aspect of the judgment or the whole reasoning of the judgment. That does not mean you are you, you're making enemies with the judges or no. This is peer review. When somebody, it's like you, right? you, 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 you've written a book or uh, an article. You, you, you do a peer review system where other people who are vast in the subject look at it and say, no, this argument it does not hold water. You know, you should have taken this other limb of it. I disagree with this. And you see the argument goes back and forth mm. from the author to the critics. They will go back and forth in good faith. Mm. It's not like they're going to fight in good faith. Say, okay, if you say this, what about this? This is where I was going. And similarly so with judgments, in many countries you have people criticizing judgments of the court. Mm. It does not mean that you are belittling the court or whatnot. No, you are not. You know, but you have the right to criticize the judgment because you believe that you disagree with all the reasoning that they, they proffered. And I believe that I disagree with the judgment so far. Me um, me members, of the, me members of the APC, some are on record for saying that the, 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 proportion, the PR um, electoral system does not make way or create room for independent candidates to contest. But the, in the interpretation of the Supreme Court, it's saying, I mean, in the sixth declaration, that the statutory instrument, um, no, forgive me, number f the, the, the fifth declaration is saying, that independent candidates can and are part of the electoral system and can stand and be voted for to be included in any of the seats representing the existing 16 districts in How the country. How can they do it? I mean, regulations have been developed by the electoral commission that has the mandate to do no, so. No, you don't develop a regulation. You see, we are bastardizing the constitution and we feel good How so? with the way we do it. The, the electoral commissioner cannot go and create a system. The constitution, section 38A, you know, the very constitution, the basis upon which the Supreme Court has now ruled, did not say anything about independent candidates. It talks about political parties. 
So uh, political parties draw up a list and profile the list and put, you know, um, a list on the district block system. Go back to this in section 38A. It does not say anything. It makes no provision for independent candidate. And that is the truth. But again, again, you know, let us assume for once, let us assume for once. Mm. I mean, for me, I like to play the devil's advocate. Let us assume for once that um, 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 the, the judge, the judge was right in his argument. Mm -hmm. Let us say he was right. For you to see how fair, you know, I can be in my argument. Let us say he's right that an um, independent candidate can, 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 can come forward um, and vie and be elected to parliament. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you, Mr. Wise, how? The, the last time I How? asked, well, the good thing I do the ask, I, I, I do the questioning, but I asked the, the, mm. the, 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 the um, representative from the Electoral Commission, and they were devising a model, they were putting together they plans cannot as to how, a model. This because is the thing. they are saying that, the, I mean, part of the um, 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 statutory instruments taken to Parliament, they, they will look, they, they have the power to develop regulations and how the conduct of the elections would, would be because they are mandated by law to do so. And they have come out saying, well, yes, and now the Supreme Court of the land is saying, of course, independent people can contest Let for me parliamentary say, seats. If, 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 the, if the, which I think is wrong, mm. out, outrightly is wrong for them to go develop a system that is not constitutional, but let us say for what. But the court is saying it's constitutional. They have the mandate to do so. <laughs> so when you say it's not constitutional. Again, again, Mr. Wise, mm -hmm. you go back to the Supreme Court. Yeah, yes. I am not talking about. I have said I disagree with the Supreme Court. Mm. And I still hold on to my argument. Right. And I will try to do a paper on that. And, and, and mm -hmm. I'll try to do a paper on that and see um, how. And I, I, will, I, will, I will find a quiet time and do it properly and send it to them. Um, even the Chief Justice, I'll send a copy to him for him to know that. Um, this is how you know I believe I disagree with the mm. with the with the with the judgment of the Supreme Court. But the, the the point is this: How can you go and develop a system when you have not been given the mandate to do so? What do you, what what, do you, what what does that mean? Because the parent legislation itself, that it it talks about political parties. It did not say independent candidate. For example, in the Constitution, 1991 Constitution, mm. you know, for parliamentary seats, mm -hmm. yes, it is true. It is true that the provision the, the, of the 99 Constitution makes provision for independent mm -hmm. candidates. Mm. That is for constituency. When you go on a constituency basis, it right. makes provision for independent candidates. But when you go to the PR system, 38A, there is nothing there. It is completely silent and it did not say anything about independent candidate. It keeps on stressing on the issue of political parties, political parties, you know, profiling a list on the district block system, political parties, political parties, which means if you want to go on the district block system or list system, mm -hmm. you have to organize a political party. And that, op and that opinion of yours, the, 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 the Supreme Court is saying, no, it's, it's wrong. We, no, no, we no, have I, a I, I, I agree and with you. That is what they are saying. But as I say, I disagree with their judgment mm. completely, you know. L listen to the sixth declaration. It says that statutory instrument number 13 and 14 of 16 November 2022 are part of the laws of Sierra Leone and are not ultra very sections 33 and 38 of the Constitution Act number 6 of 1991. Section 38A of the Constitution as amended in 2001 and Section 171 of the Public Elections Act number 17 of 2001. And the seventh is saying that pursuant to and subject to the current law in the country inclusive of the Constitution and statutory instrument number 13 and 14 of 16 November 2022, local council elections will be expected no, to, no. I mean, by the district block representation system approved as the mode for the 2023 elections. No, 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 no. I don't think you see again, again, mm. again, mm. again, you know. Mm. I don't know why the Supreme Court ventured into local council. They, they, the Supreme Court, they, they had no business going into that because that's not the basis of the argument. For me, the local council, they, ought, they, 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 they don't have to even um, 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 touch that because it's going to be, be a problem. There's a special provision dealing with um, 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 local council election. Mm. You know that. There's a special provision mm. dealing with that. Mm. And that provision came round about between 2002 to, two, between 2000 and, let me say 2000 to 2004. Mm. 
You know, the first local council elections mm -hmm. were held in 2004. You know that? 2004. Mm -hmm. So the legislation must have, you know, preceded that one, you know, must have come, you know, before, 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 before the, the elections mm -hmm. were held. So there is a prevailing legislation mm -hmm. which was, I mean, promulgated by parliament mm -hmm. for local council elections. And the 2001 um, amendment only talks about um, um, parliamentary, parliamentary. Parliamentary, it does not talk about local council. So if they want to lump it all, let them lump it all. It's, 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 it's the, it's the you know, Supreme Court. When, when, when you say this, it takes me to the argument presented by, um, the, I mean, councils representing the plaintiffs. So, so, so they, they, they submitted um, lawyer um, Dr. Abdullahi um, Usman Conte saying that the proportional representation was not an alternative system of election in a democratic country governed by the rule of law. He argued that it was Section 38A, subsection 1 of the Constitution, Constitutional Amendment Act No. 15 of 2001, that introduced such system, but that it must be read in conjunction with Section 38, 38. subsection 1 of the Constitution I agree, of Sierra Leone, I agree absolutely. Act No. 6, which had imposed a constituency-based election in which case it must be concluded that Section 38A is not or ultra med, of course, it's freestanding. So, so with these arguments submitted, and, and li just listen to what he further said, thus he argued the powers vested in Section 38A of the constitutional amendment must be exercised within the parameters of the Constitution Act No. 6 of 1991, which provided that elections be constituencies based as in Section 38.1 thereof. Yeah. So, but, yeah. but then how, the, the Supreme Court... I agree with him, and you know... Thinks that, otherwise. You eh? know, I have made that same argument here way before even, mm. you know, the, the, the matter came up. Mm. And I agree, I agree absolutely with him. Um, um, as I say, um, um, that, 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 that was a brilliant argument made, which I've already made in this, in this forum um, and in other um, forums in, in, the, in the country. Um, for now, the Supreme Court has made its decision and um, there's not much one can do. Mm. But I believe that if the electoral commissioner is a man of substance, he ought not to go by the proportional representation system. Even after the Supreme Court has... Even after the, uh, the Supreme Court um, issued out its judgment. Mm. It does not mean because the Supreme Court issued out its judgment, it is hook, hook line, and sinker for the country to jump on, on the bandwagon with proportional representation. Mm. The, 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 electoral, uh, the electoral commissioner should look at whether the country is really ready for such a system. I have argued it there here many, many times. Uh, uh, so you listen know, to this. How you, can you change? How can you, let, let me say this. Mr. Yes. Mr. Sorry about that. Go ahead. You know, you cannot change the goalpost from the two ends of the, of the field mm. to put the goalpost at the side of the field mm. at the 11th hour when the game, the match should be 90 minutes, mm. when it is almost um, 80, 85 minutes, five minutes, mm -hmm. you say you are changing the goalpost. The goalpost should not ever be at the end, it should be at the side. That is what the electoral the, commission the, wants listen to Listen to this, um, I, I mean, declaration, when you mentioned that um, the chief electoral commissioner can just, I mean, vary away from the judgment of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And it says, an order restraining the second defendant, mm -hmm. of course, the, the Electoral Commission, its agent, servant, previous or however called from taking steps aimed at conducting the June 24th multi-tier elections on the district block proportional representation system, is refused. That is what clearly the, oh, the Chief me, Justice out again. said. That an order restraining the second defendant, the Electoral Commission, its agents, servants, previous or however called from taking steps aimed at conducting the, G the June 24th multi-tier elections on the district block proportional representation system is refused. So it, 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 the, 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 the commission has decided, besides it's the commission that advised the president I don't know. The way in consultation. You, the way you read it, it's as if they are the, 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 the asking him not to conduct the PR system, you know? 
the election on the PR system, the way no, you read it. No, there. he's given, I mean, any anyone who tends to stop that would definitely, they would refuse that because the court has given clearance. No, 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 you said he, he, he's restrained. They, they, they are restraining the, the, the... An order restraining the yes. second defender at the yes. electoral commission. Yes. Its agent, servant, servant previous or however called from yes. taking steps. Yes, taking steps. Aimed, Aimed at, conducting at conducting the June 24th multi-tier yes. elections on the district block proportional representation system is refused. So, the question I want to ask based on this, with all that is in play right now, what do you see um, your party, for example, doing to ensuring that, because at the end of the day, you, you, this is something you just have to abide by. You, you cannot go against it. The Supreme Court has made a me, decision. Let me say, I think I made this statement the last time. Mm. The fact that um, the, 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 the SLPP um, government is bent on running election on a PR system, you know, at the 11th hour of, of, of the election mm. does not necessarily mean that they're going to have the upper hand. You know, upper hand in what sense? In, in upper hand in the elections. You know, elections is all about numbers. Mm. So they may be they may be fooling themselves in, in trying to believe that PR system is going to help them. You know, um, um, this election is going to be a different kind of elections. Um, like you said, we we are going to we are not going to 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 say there is well, of course there is not. A specific official statement from the party mm. and I want people to know that this is not an official statement from the party but I believe that we should not accept you know the elections to be conducted on a PR system the fact that the what court, can you do when the Supreme Court has made a decision well there are other political um, avenues we can use to mm. make sure that the PR system is not conducted on, would that be an advice you want to give to the party mm, I will give that advice to the country there are other means we can do to make sure what means that, specifically diplomatic means and other ways to make sure. Uh, listen, you see, um, I don't, this is a country that we should be able to, to protect. Mm. We do not want to hold, except they want to say the Exterior Commissioner and the government wants to hold a kind of election where people do not understand and appreciate the modus operandi of going into the elections, how the elections are going to be held. So maybe there is going to be some, some complications and that will tell on the votes. But you never know. It's neither here nor there. It can also tell on them and also tell on, on the entire nation. So whatever they're doing is not helping them and they but, believe it's helping Perhaps them. the argument would be at a time when um, enlightenment was not heightened, as it is right now, say in 1996 or 2002, when um, the PR system was introduced or was used, um, people went into the elections and they came out just fine. There was so enough time. The there was now? enough time. Mm. Enough time. And um, like I said, you know, you won't understand and mm. appreciate it. But I believe that um, if you study the PR system in 1996, there were a lot of problems. It was not an easy, but you see, again, again, it was a compromise arrangement where, you know, we're coming from the, this um, 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 difficult um, war, the crisis in Sierra Leone, and people just wanted a kind of system that will take us to some form of governance, no matter what it is, whatever that was there, they were prepared to, to uh, but this is not the case anymore, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, coming from the hangover of the war, we just wanted to have a governance. So let's, let's carry on, let's move ahead. But now we should not be bastardizing the Constitution and we should make sure that we do not put um, um, democratic institutions in the country at risk. Mm. Because we have to educate the masses about you know, the PR system, how it's going to be conducted. And um, for me, five months is not enough. Five months is not enough. And we all know that. And I believe the electoral commissioner knows it, and the president should, should, knows that. Should, should, should this not be a point now where, say, the, the political parties, including the, the opposition or People's Congress Party? Because if you talk about time, it, doesn't, it, it, it also does not favor the ruling party. If, if, I mean, if you talk about time, because the same people um, we, you talk to, and like I've always argued, no political party has ever won a national election with just the support of its Herbert Kingsman. So you, Kingsman, so you have to reach out. So if time does not favor the APC, time does not also favor the SLPP and I all other political you. parties. So how would you, the political parties now, engage the Electoral Commission to, I mean, to be robust, innovative, and creative 
in, in, in ensuring awareness, raising sensitization, and more education on the proportional representation system? You know, uh, Mr. Wise, the fact that it does not favor either party mm. does not mean that we should not um, um, say the right thing um, to say that this particular system, you know, is not good for Sierra Leone at this point in time. And it's now been, you know, um, um, forced into the Sierra Leonean, you know, with, with, with at the 11th, um, um, at the 11th hour. When you say we forced, should, we should, yeah. when you say forced, does, yeah. that, does, does, does that not, is that not a misnomer? Because how many it is not, it is not. It is not. That's that is, that is my that view. Decision. No, mm. that is my view because mm. it's see, because there are so many ways. Forcing does not mean you have to come and hold people's throat. <laughs> it does not necessarily mean that. Mm. There are many ways you can force things into to, to people. But um, you see, the fact that, that that's, that's the case does not necessarily mean it's not good, it's not wrong. I think it's not timely, it is, time is wrong, um, um, and it is not good for Sierra Leone at this point in time. Yes, it's, it, like I said, it does not necessarily mean it's going to favor the SLPP. But that does not mean we should not say things by the right name. Mm. Um, um, for me, I believe that this country is bigger than any one individual or any president or any electoral commissioner or any Supreme Court or any judge. Mm. And we should, we should make sure that we, we pay tribute um, um, to the very existence of this country and make sure that we hold ourselves accountable to whatever decisions we make um, 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 for the country, mm. whether it's in development, it's in the electoral system, um, the judiciary, education, or otherwise. Mm. We should be very serious about what we do. And um, um, we should not be playing politics with these kind of things. Whether you are in the APC or SLPP, we have to be very serious with governance. And um, governance does not mean you, you, you have to make sure that, for example, in this case, mm. you conduct the elections five months to, 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 to the election day, um, you change the kind of system. It is outrightly wrong, and I think the Supreme Court ought to have said that. Even if they had said all those sort of things, they should have said, well, the timing and the education of these people and whatnot, they ought to have come L with those L things. Lawyer Dumbuya, but I I'm tempted to ask this question. Is the APC not missing its steps? Because I also followed in Parliament when your parliamentary leader, Honorable Chair Ramadan Majuba, I mean, moved the motion to nullify the elections petitions, I mean, the instruments, I mean, citing the ECOWAS protocol on elections and democracy as a basis of, that you cannot change the law six months to elections exactly. and all that. Exactly. But then you did not get the votes required to, to have nullified that very, uh, I mean, instrument. No, I don't, I don't but, want to get but, into But the question, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean you, you've, you've taken, I mean, before that, you've taken this um, PR matter for interpretation to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court mm -hmm. has said otherwise, I mean, not favoring what you were looking for. So are you not missing your steps as a party? No, 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 we're not. We're not missing our steps, you know, as, as, as a party. Um, as I said, the fact that the Supreme Court made its decision, mm. its judgment, um, against the party does not necessarily mean that we've missed our steps. We, 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 we're looking at the judgment. Um, 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 that is what I will advise. Um, I, I would look at the judgment, we would study the judgment, and we'll come with a decision, you know, at the appropriate, we'll come with a statement. Um, the, the, from the party, we'll come out with a statement, I, I, having looked at the decision. I, 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 I just cited an excerpt, or I read an excerpt from, um, the judgment, especially the submission of um, Dr. Um, Abdullah Conte, Conte yeah. um, saying for, for him it was not the merit or the merit of the proportional representation. It has to do with the ruling and um, whether or not proportional representation is comfortably situated in any democratic state. For him, it, it does not, I mean, fit so. But the, the Supreme Court is saying, I mean, and you cannot say, um, of course. Dr. Conte is saying that the PI system is not an alternative form of 
electoral system for the state. So for him, they should not even countenance the PR system, especially Section 48. No, no, I think he was, he was, he was, he was speaking from the point of view mm. um, that um, there are certain set guidelines in the Constitution to go into that. Mm. So I, my own understanding is that once Section 38, you know, there is a guiding principle with regards to Section 38, and that is what should operate, and the only time you spill over to 38A is where you have problems with section 38. So my own take is that if that is the case and we do not have problem with section 38, then section 38A, which is the um, proportional representation, is not in place. And I agree with him on that. It's non-existence, you know, but the Supreme Court has said otherwise. Um, it is the last court in the land mm -hmm. where when they've made their decision, you you go nowhere else. And, and I say, but so as I, I say, that does not mean mm. that they will not, um, and, and I think this judgment is going to be criticized, not only by Sierra Leoneans, mm. even if Sierra Leoneans refuse to criticize the judgment, it will be criticized. Well, here you are criticizing yeah, yeah. it. It will be criticized by, 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 by renowned legal jurists who will be out there, who are looking at judgments, especially of the Supreme Court. Um, in the next few months, you will see, uh, I can assure you, you will see articles out there in, in well-established um, 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 law in, um, 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 database, mm. Um, um, where they will, they will look at it, <laughs> they, will be a, they will do a post-mortem on it. That is what we call peer review. Right. And they will look at it and give their own, their own um, 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 judgment or their own um, take on, on how they view the judgment. Well, well I, I, as you say that, immediately after the judgment was handed down by the Supreme Court, our production team went out to solicit the views of ordinary serial unions on what do they make of the interpretation by the Supreme Court. And um, here is what some of them have to say um, to our production team. We get right as a country for use the proportional representation system of election. Of course, I think it's a, a lawful, you understand? Because 1996, Pakaba used them, and they used them in 2002 as well, you understand? You know, even though resident they why you for use proportional representation. Doing them on Kabasi because war just done, political party, people were not interested in uh, politics. You understand? And people they be there disagree. They don't be getting a definite constituency, so now they be use them. So in this case I think say because according to the constitution I guess say before election when I forbidden do a boundary delimitation. That is when I cut the country into a constituency for election purpose. But now they're not doing, which means a time don't catch an election day in the next five months. You get now, I think say yes, proportional representation. I think say in a nice system because other countries like Australia they use them. Now, what will be they use that first past the post that majority uh, type of election wherein as you don't win, everything don't done. So assuming in the election wherein you get 50 percent and the other one get 40 percent you get so now you win everything that 40 percent don't get any representation right but in this system now we are in you can still get according to the percentage where they get for the election and the same percentage you get in the parliament you understand so if election can now let's say the district party, uh, party a get 35 percent of the total elec uh, election cast or vote cast they still they get 35% of the parliamentarians in a parliament, which means that this every facet of the, uh, the community is being represented. You understand? Eh? Okay. It's been hard, it, it minimize cost, it also minimize time because government gets to spend a lot for court costs to the boundary. Well, we got some passing judgment, but as a citizen, we're not pleased with that because it isn't based on. We the people and already get the chance again for choosing leaders then, especially the parliamentarians then. What we they against, you understand? In as much it cut some party on decision, we they look at a decision on, on their own. But be as it may, we therefore go with and bear them. But you know good especially the for me the top for myself, we may not appreciate that. The PR system is common. At least 
And I believe so before you they recommend somebody uh, for instance for this area this Dunbar area now we use somebody as a meeting as a parliamentary So I believe so you know, the one where the people that meet, where the officials at the end of the day, they really make people just move movement in the area, they really make tracks record. I believe so you do that. Well, the PR system and myself very glad it. The people look to the youth and the street, the majority look no less. You know what I mean? As a man, they go a big youth, they are used for demonstrate. The PR system is very glad because it is a cow savior of the country, because I don't be past me. That is the message where they go to make a contest for the street ambassador, but tell the youth stay. Let everybody not use now for demonstrate. So this PR system work, and myself very glad they are happy because they don't pull load for the majority of people. So the police themselves, they don't pull load for them. Everybody get in party, you go, you go campaign at the corner for your party, you know what I mean, I can't go the message. But this, if they say, uh, uh, if they say uh, rallying at the street, it will come problem. But if they actually stay away, don't come, we all are happy. And they go to the ghettos, go to the corners and ask the youth man everything that they mean. They say we don't, we don't get no problem because the youth man is here food. They say what they want, they want to let the country go before. Right, um, we still have not seen the country's solicitor general, lawyer Robert Kowa, um, Francis Gabidon, lawyer, and um, Rashid Dumbuya. We are still hopeful that they would be part of the conversation. They will join us here um, tonight. I, 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 interestingly, lawyer Dumbuya, at, at, at this point, what should be the focus of your party? I mean, the APC, because le legally, all the things you've pushed for, you've not been successful. Maybe, is it that you do not know the law? Is it that uh, maybe there are things you're not getting right? Because, you know, so, a, a friend of mine who is a very senior um, legal practitioner who has molded generations, for example, in the law profession, told me when <laughs> your, your, your team, your legal team was, I mean, making um, submission, I, uh, for him, it was more of a trial. Uh, so, 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 so what is happening with your party? Uh, you know, I mean, you, many said you have five you know, legal brains. What is going when, on? When you're making that statement, I recall somebody was saying, mm. you know, that the, the APC, some of the grassroots people, that the APC should not go to this court because this court does not like the APC. Mm. Um, um, but... Um, um, as a way of strategy, mm. um, I cannot say it outrightly here, but we, as I say, we're looking at the judgment and the party will come out with a statement um, um, at the appropriate time and it's going to be sooner than later. Um, but we're looking at the judgment and um, we, we, as I say, we're going to use um, 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 political um, 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 means and also um, um, diplomatic means to ensure mm. that um, um, the country is put on the right track because if we miss the mark, then it's going to be a problem for this country. Um, I can see that people are desperate. Desperation can bring serious problems mm. in any institution, whether it's a country governance or in, in many other spheres. Um, um, and that desperation is, seems to be lingering. In you, mean every, APC, you mean APC supporters? No, I'm talking about the, the government, you know, the, 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 the ah. desperation of the mm. government in trying to push certain agendas, you know, um, 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 is, 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 is really not helping the country. Well, um, how do you determine that desperation in the sense that, especially when you, for example, have sub you've submitted here, that it does not guarantee winning for the SLPP? Yeah, I agree with you. But you see, again, Mr. Mm. Wise, the fact that it does not guarantee winning for the APC or anybody else does not necessarily mean that we should continue doing things that are wrong. Uh, it's, 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 it's bad for governance. It's bad for democratic institutions. And... Um, it's it's really it's really going to bring a situation where we do not want to go back into a system where this country is going to go into into something that we would not would not like. We want this country. We've come a long way. We want this country to be at peace. We want this country to respect each and every one of us to respect um, 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 democratic institutions 
and um, democratic principles so that um, um, the county will develop that culture. Um, um, for me, it is really sad that we, we have got to this point. And I say this not out of malice, but out of concern for the country. Um, um, I just hope that the Electoral Commission decides that the elections will what, not be what, what is conducted. Out, what what is out of system. point here? You have, a, I mean, a political party or members of a political party who felt that they've been, I mean, they've not been treated fairly. I mean, provisions in the Constitution have been breached or violated by the ruling um, party. Members of those party went, I mean, took the matter for interpretation. The courts, which is, by, um, by the way, the practice is like, I mean, in any democratic or good governance space, that's, that is what obtains. And so what is really sad, because if they've gone to the Supreme Court, then, of course, they relied, they depended on the judgment of the Supreme Court, too. And the Supreme Court has come out clearly. Well, the Supreme, Court, so the Supreme Court, as I said, they've hmm. made their decision. And um, like I said to you, I have tremendous respect for, for almost all the members of the bench. Hmm. And I'm surprised that they, they come up with that. I have to say this, I'm surprised that they have to come up with that kind of decision um, um, when you look at, because the if, only if, thing is- If the decision had, uh, had, uh, um, had been the other way, would you, have would you have been surprised? No, you see, let me say this. Mm. There are certain things in the constitution. They are black. If they are black, they are black. If they are white, they are white. You don't try to change them. But um, when you look at 38, mm -hmm. you know, and you look at 38A, I'm actually trying there is to no room, there is no room for ambiguity. I'm, I'm actually trying to get um, a, um, a member of parliament, lawyer, Indolo Gevao, to, to comment on this, um, the judgment of um, the, the Supreme Court on Friday. So when I'm able to establish contact with him, which I'm pretty sure that will be um, soonest, then I would also get his own side since we've not been able to um, get the Solicitor General but of course, um, here with us. But of course, Mr. Geva is going to endorse the PR system. You like know, you are against because you know, you're a you member know, of the APC. I, no, you see, uh, well, let me say, Mr. Wise, mm. for me, I am a different kind of person. Right. I, la I want things to go proper for this country. Mm. And um, when I stand, you know, to ensure that um, the right thing is done, mm -hmm. Um, sometimes, yes, people would say, okay, you belong to the APC, therefore, because it favors the APC, that is why you, you are now saying this. But uh, leave, forget about what I am saying now. Mm. Take section 38 and 38A of the Constitution. Send that to any jurist out there in the world. Mm. Or take the entire Constitution of Sierra Leone and say, is there any way we can, the country can, you know, go into proportional representation based on this principle? Yeah. And you give the person the scenario, the last time the census was, the, 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 the census were held and um, the census was held and um, um, at the last time the, constitu the constituencies were delimited mm -hmm. um, and demarcated. And you say this is the, the, the timeline. You give, the, give them all the, 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 the numbers and the figures and the dates and say, can we go on a, um, um, a proportional um, representation system, mm -hmm. the district block system? I believe that they will say no. So sometimes we don't limit, don't limit it to me. Give it to your friends out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell them, say you want, you want them to help you on this issue so that you can also be assured that what I am saying is wrong or right. Mm -hmm. I, as I say, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not saying that uh, I, I cannot claim to be um, I'm clever, but um, there are certain things which I, I appreciate, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and when the English is clear, plain and simple mm -hmm. in the constitution, it's not ambiguous. There's no ambiguity. Right. I fail to see why I, 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 I can be forced to interpret All it right. otherwise. Lance and Adumbi are still with me. I think I've been able to establish link with um, lawyer Indolo Gevao, a member of parliament representing the Salem People's Party. Honorable Indolo Gevao, good evening and welcome to AYV on Sunday. Good evening, Samuel. Good evening, listeners. And um, thank you very much for accepting to speak to us um, in this um, short notice. Honorable Gevao, 
First off, what do you make of the, 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 the landmark ruling by the Supreme Court on the proportional representation last Friday? Firstly, Samuel, I really want to commend the judiciary for coming out with a judgment within the shortest possible time. And uh, in my opinion, it's, a, it's one of the best judgments that the Supreme Court had ever um, handed down on a constitutional issue. You know, I am one of those people who believe in my case. I normally say, or oh, there is this legal addict that says a lawyer is as good as his case. I mean, the case that was presented before the, the Supreme Court by the All People's Congress lawyers was really, really very weak. Right from the start of their papers, their, their, their um, application had no limb to stand on. When I looked at the prayers that they were asking for, and I looked at the affidavit in support of their prayers, I told somebody in the magistrate court before, a very senior colleague, Roland Wright, that, I mean, they were just embarking on the, on, on the child's play. So, the Supreme Court took their time, irrespective of the fact that their papers were weak, they really took their time to elicit the legal element in the, in the what ought to have been um, um, sub, what ought to have been submitted to them, and actually came out with a very sound judgment. I was just listening to my colleague, I mean, very senior colleague, Lance and I, I mean, the fact here remains that the PR system, like I had always submitted on your medium, is constitutionally provided for. All what we have been canvassing on your media is just what the Supreme Court went and recapitulated. You know, so for me, Samuel, it's one of the best judgments the Supreme Court really did. I mean, justice to, to, to the application that was before them. And the, the, the part of it really that I admired was the fact that they told the public that the president did not act up to various his powers. I mean, that was it. He acted within the ambit of the Constitution. He, he took necessary procedures, the right procedures, in reaching to, the, to, 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 to him directing the, the, the Electoral Commission to actually proclaim that we'll be going by proportional representation. I mean, I always tell people, like a lawyer, I normally tell my colleague, Roland Islander, that if you take everything away from him, what he knows is law. If you take everything away from President Bio, he knows politics and he respects the Constitution. Never had I seen that man go against a constitutional provision. So he did what was right. The Supreme Court just came and reaffirmed that his, 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 the processes that he, he followed was correct and that he did not act outside his constitutional mandate. For me, it's a brilliant judgment and it's a judgment that has really, I mean, advanced our juris, jurisprudence as far as constitutional issues are concerned. On the other one hand, I want to commend the All People's Congress because this is what we expect them to do. You expect, I mean, before now they used to fight with their fists in parliament. This is what you do. When you think you have an issue that has to do with the interpretation of the Constitution, come to the Supreme Court. They will always hear you. They came to the Supreme Court, albeit with a very weak case. The Supreme Court had them and delivered a brilliant judgment, which will stand the test of time. So for me, it's one of the best things that have happened to Sierra Leone. What, 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 what does this hold for the June 24th elections? Because um, lawyer Dumbuya here clearly submitted that going with the PR system does not... I mean, give advantage to either APC or SLPP, but there is no time for the people of Sierra Leone to understand the form of the system, especially when they will be voting. Um, he got it right. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an electoral system that is meant to put all parties at par, that is not really meant to give one party advantage as against the other. So on that, on that, on that, on that issue, himself and I were on the same wavelength. And um, on the issue of there not being time, I always tell people that PR system had been used before. This is not the first time that we are using PR system. It was used in 1996. It was used in 2002. Lawyer Dumbuya, I am sure, voted uh, members of parliament then on a PR system. I don't need education. The people in my constituency, honestly, doesn't, do not need education. For those who are first-time voters, when was it? I mean, on, on, on Saturday morning, I was there on the radio educating them as to what um, the PR system is all about. Trilinians are among the most brilliant um, people on, on, on the globe. I mean, our intelligence quotient is really high. You check the index international, you check the global index. Within one week, by the time it, let's hit the ground running with regard 
um, and public education. Trust you me, everybody is going to grasp it. Like yourself, Samuel, I always tell people that waste not your time, go and read law. You've been able to understand the PR system and you can deliver a paper on it. You can lecture social unions on it. It's a very simple principle of uh, um, 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 process. You do it, it's not rocket science. You know, so for me, there is enough time. One week, two weeks, everybody will be able to understand how they are going to vote. It's just about you telling people how they are going to vote, what, how, how, how their vote is going to turn out with regards to distribution of seats and, uh, and uh, representation. For me, that is it. It's not mathematics. It's not um, 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 jurisprudence. For me, it's simple explanation that anybody can grasp in the middle of the night if a lecture is given to him or her. Gevao, just quickly, lawyer, we have submitted that, of course, he is criticizing the, the Supreme Court ruling. Um, and you have described this as one of the best um, things that has happened within the judicial sector of this country. How so? Um, Samuel, I'm one person that says the, 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 the judiciary has one of the most difficult jobs cut out for them in Sierra Leone. I mean, right from the magistrate court to the Supreme Court, when anybody loses a case, they, are seen, they will say, oh, this, this magistrate, this judge went against me because of ABCZ. I mean, somebody that loses a case never goes supporting the, the, the presiding officer who actually presided over that case. We hear it over and over. But they have a job to do. That is their job. I mean, if Lawyer Duboya, if the judgment had gone in favor of Lawyer Duboya, he was going to be clapping for them, I would have been saying, no, I'm disappointed with the judgment. It is expected. I mean, only that he is one person that I have the greatest of respect for. He is one person that I was really expecting to give thumbs up to the judiciary for such a landmark and brilliant judgment. When the judgment was handed down, yeah, two or three years um, down the road to say the president has the power to sack the vice president, I did not agree with that position. Lawyer Dumbuya and other lawyers were very happy over that position. They clapped. Oh, I did not go criticizing the judiciary. Somebody has to do that job and to actually come out with a judgment. So for me, these are people that we ought to be commending when they do a good job. I mean, presiding over matters in the Supreme Court is not an easy thing. Coming, coming out with I mean, a, a two-hour, three-hour judgment um, and being delivered, it's not an easy job to be done. These people would have sat down looking at interpretation canons, looking at laws pertaining to the, to, the, to the prayers that we have been asked for to have arrived at that decision. So I was really expecting him, being a very, I mean, senior counsel who actually knows the, the, the nitty-gritty of law, I was expecting him to actually commend the, the judicial. And that's the problem with us. When it is not right, we criticize. When it is when it is green for us, I mean, we comment. On this occasion, honestly speaking, even if you ask one of the most one of the critics of the judiciary, um, 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 Augustine Mara, he will tell you one, he was happy that the judiciary came out with a judgment within a, the shortest possible time. Secondly, that it was a brilliant judgment. I read I, I read his tweet. He was saying somebody ought to have uh, um, 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 dissented. His only disappointment was that there was no dissent in view. But it's not a hard fast rule that there must be a dissent in view. So, no matter what you say, Samuel, even if it's an LMD1 student sitting on that case, that matter would have been kicked out of the window from the word go. It was a weak case, weak, very weak, that if I were to advise them, I would not have advised them to file such an action in the Supreme Court. And if I were to be a Supreme Court judge, I would have asked for, a, I, I, if I were to be the attorney general, I would have asked for a, a family for very huge cost. Because sometimes when you just bring um, before the Supreme Court frivolous applications, definitely you waste their time. And I mean, everybody um, um, foresee the outcome of the matter. It comes out that way. It, it was not an, uh, um, um, an unnecessary waste of time. The Constitution makes provision for PR system. Did it? Yes, it did. The president followed the requisite pro pro procedure in proclaiming the PR system. All what they were saying, constituencies have not been dissolved. Fine. Constituencies can dissolve the moment that parliament um, 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 dissolved. Those constituencies that are in existence will no longer be qualified to return a member of parliament to parliament um, as they are. It was a simple argument that we can't pass on an AYB. I mean, over and over, myself and even Abdul Kabo, who was a plaintiff, he did not believe in his case because he got to understand where the president came from, but had to file.
just, I mean, they have to fight because as usual as they are styling, they want to always be seen, I mean, to say they've done something, even when they know it will go against them. Let me tell you some, something somewhere. Just a few days ago, we had the election petition rules before parliament. Um, when we looked at parliament, the APC members were not up to 15. The SLCP members were up to, let's say, um, 42. Now, they knew even if they had said we were up to have gone by Putin, they knew they were going to, to lose. But yet, because they could not have got too tall, yet they had to um, throw the motion for us to vote. We voted and we lost, and they lost. They are telling times where you really know that the thing is blurring as white as broad daylight. Lawyer Gevao, do you see the Supreme Court's um, 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 ruling as one that justifies, oh, oh, that's not the word, as one that vindicates, wow. Wow. As, um, we're running out of, uh, out of Topopia, as one that vindicates um, the, 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 the ruling SLPP from accusations of it be, um, be, being bastardizing the country's um, constitution? Someone, I have, I, have, I have always challenged my colleagues on the AYD medium to tell me one instance where this SLPP government has um, um, bastardized the constitution, and none of them has ever been able to show me one instance. You know, I mean, I always tell the public that while the SLPP fight with their head, the APC fight with their feet. Anytime you see SLPP coming out with a with constitutional issue, Trust you, Mr. Moore, if it's something that they have that well, we, we, we we we're running we're running low on um on top up here. We'll definitely join you um soonest again, please. Um I was um, lawyer Indolo Gevao, well, honorable, representing the Salem People's Party in Parliament. Um, you've had over an hour <laughs> with me in the studio. So um, please, um, I have lawyer Lansana Dumbuya, who is aspiring for the Secretary General post of the Opposition All People's Congress Party, criticizing the um, judgment from the Supreme Court handed down last Friday. We have so many messages already on Facebook, and we'll have to run through some of them. But just before I run through um, some of the comments, Lawyer mm -hmm. Dumbuya, I know you would want to respond to some of the submissions. Maybe. Yeah, uh, um, um, I told you before, Rand, that um, Gevao is going to support the judgment um, um, from the point of, um, um, I don't believe Gevao is supporting it from, from the point of the legal aspect or, or legal eye, you know. Um, he's supporting it from a political point, you see. So he made a very, a very nice and beautiful cosmetic political statement and not a legal one. Mm -hmm. um, to say that um, the Supreme Court did well in coming out with the decision, he said he asked um, a colleague, uh, um, a very close colleague of mine, Mr. Mara, was happy that the decision was, came, the decision came out, you know, um, at the, the time. Like, was, was speedy. Within a very short, uh, speedy, yeah. uh, very, very short period of time. I also acclaim the Supreme Court for that. And I think I join Mr. Mara in that and commend them for coming out with the decision swiftly like they did. But that, I don't believe that he asked Mara as to whether Mara, uh, Mr. Mara agrees with the reasoning you know, behind the, the judgment. And um, the fact that they came out very swiftly does not mean I agree with what they have said. So um, um, I also want to tell uh, Mr. Gevao, if he wants to come and, and, and have it out with me here in the AYV to show um, various aspects as to how the Constitution, you know, um, um, has been bastardized or, you know, um, 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 the, 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 the government has gone against the constitution in so many areas um, in the electoral process and in other areas from the speakership of parliament on to the last bit, you know. Um, there are so many issues, instances. I can, give, I can give him all the areas if he wants to. He can ask for a date and we can come and, and have the debate here. But um, as I said, it is, Mr. Gevao mentioned the, part, the aspect that, um, in fact, um, the constitution, it is constitutional. It's, mm -hmm. You see, we, there's no doubt about it. We are not saying that according to 38A, which is the Constitutional Amendment 2001, it is not in the Constitution. We are not saying that PR system is not in the Constitution. That is not the argument. The argument is, is it constitutional at this point in time for the PR system to be implemented? 
That is the basis. That is the argument. It is not whether it is in the Constitution or not. We know it is in the Constitution by um, the 2001 Amendment Act. That is Section 38A. It's there. But is it right for it to be implemented? And I say no, it is not. Because the life of the constituency ends next year, December. I don't understand how simple I can put it to people or the populace to know that the PR system has no legs to stand on constitutionally because it, the life of the constituencies are still, even if parliament is to be, um, 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 is, 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 um, Parliament, the life of Parliament ends um, in, in, in March. Still, that does not mean because the life of Parliament ends means the, the life of the constituency should also end. Mm. That is also a wrong reasoning. You know, the life of Parliament ends in March. The life of the constituency ends next year, December, because mm. next year, December, is going to be seven years mm. from when the constituencies were delimited. Mm. So I, 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 don't un, I don't know how simple. That is why I don't appreciate um, um, really what Mr. Gabor... Uh, but I can understand right. Mr. Gabor. He's a very good friend of mine. Mm. I can appreciate. But also, what I want to tell Mr. Gabor, I want to say, now you have said that, um, in fact, the PR system is, is, is well and good. Well, good to you, but um, it's also good for you to make that nice political statement, and I appreciate, I only pray that your name will be inserted in the list for parliament this time when it's not constituency. All right, you, you, you both have, ref, have referenced um, um, the tweets made by um, Augustine Soisembe Mara, lawyer, and yeah. that's what um, um, he tweeted. He said, the Supreme Court has today delivered a judgment confirming the PR electoral system. As a legal scholar, I was looking forward to a concurring or dissenting opinions. Does it look good at all? Uh, does it look good that all five judges would agree on every letter, syllable, and reason of such historic judgment? That is what Augustine Mara um, tweeted. But let me run through some messages on Facebook. We have many of them, um, our, our viewers and our followers, including our listeners, they've been very, very I'm interested in the conversation. Ronald Bresford Ignatius George Tony saying, just the removal of a sitting vice president was seen as a right by the same judges, but was ruled as unconstitutional by ECOWAS. We now see service return by this government due to executive powers bestowed upon both successive governments. I have nothing against the PI system, but it could have been brought in at the first opening of the first parliament. How can the electorates be schooled on the PR system with only six months to an election. Um, Abbas Sabib Kuka is saying, wow, well, go to the ECOWAS court. Oh, oh I forgot, ECOWAS court doesn't have any say in Sierra Leone's business, according to former Attorney General Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara. Mohamed Kamara is saying, I am happy that lawyer Francis Gabidon, um, well, we're happy, but he, uh, he did not show up. Um, he's one of the trusted lawyers in this country who will definitely give us. Um, unfortunately, lawyer Gabinon is not here. Um, Bokari is saying, so Dumbuya is saying they, the justices, are wrong. But yet, still he's saying he's going to look at the judgment of the justices, which implies he has not looked at the judgment yet. Um, all right, Lamin Denke is saying we would never get fair judgment in our court unless the power of appointment for judges is removed from the president. Um, what, what else um, would these, or what are they trying to say? The biggest court of the land had decided, who are you to deny it? Fouad M.B. Mansari is saying, Kamara Charles is saying here, lawyer Dumbuya, the last suit was not between APC versus SLPP, but APC versus the state. Why are you calling the name of the chairman of SLPP? It's interesting. <laughs> um, David C.C., interesting. Bokaisa is saying, yes, there, is a, um, there are existing constituencies, but there was a mid-term censor, so-called um, lawyer Dumbuya. Um, the end result of a government that is, not, uh, that is not too clear, this statement by lawyer Dumbuya about refusing to um, acquiesce to the PR system is dangerous and politically toxic. Michael Koka is saying, I'm going to take at most um, five more messages because of time. Conte Mohammed is saying, our country's democracy is currently being threatened. Where are our moral guarantors? Um, a question being asked. John Abu is saying, this lawyer is craving for um, 
excitement and lawlessness, but he should know that he is now on record should anything come from the APC in that direction. That is not so clear. Baba Amid Mansour is saying, good evening, Samuel. As long as the ruling doesn't favor the APC, they would have problem with the ruling. Selfish politicians. Um, Ibrahim J. Oscar is saying, the way I see the APC, nothing is good for the country. The midterm census and the PR system. So what is good for the country now? Um, Wahab Muhammad is saying the PR system or the constituency system, we are all Sierra Leoneans and we need to put our country first. Vision 2023, okay, that's not what we're here to discuss. I think lawyer Lansana Dumbuya is just beating a dead horse. Why didn't he go to argue in the Supreme Court? This is just another waste of time, Mike Dean is saying. Um, Two more messages because of time. How frequently are we going to keep having proportional representation as uh, provided by our constitution? Lamin P. Albert is asking. Eddie Grant is saying, Lawyer Dumbuya, do not allow your emotions to carry you away. Um, finally, from um, Al Haji Amaraki Bay saying, The law is the law. What other means do you want to take when the highest court of the land has made its ruling? Um, just so we have many messages, but unfortunately, time would not allow me to go through um, all of your messages. Um, let me allow you quickly to respond to some of the messages of the lawyer, Dumbuya. Well, I can see that uh, uh, when it comes to legal aspects, most Australians do not appreciate the kind of um, 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 provisions in the Constitution and will not be able to interpret it. So once the Supreme Court has given its decision for them it's it's the gospel truth and that's how it is exactly. i mean that's I how it is that's how no it is no by, that's by, how it's really law. no that's how it is mm -hmm. but that does not mean i should not disagree with it you know and i say this people want to misunderstand me um, um, um the fact that i disagree with the judgment does not mean that you know um, I have problems with the judges. I have problems with the law. It is my right to disagree with a judgment given by, by, by the court. That is democracy. That is democracy. So if people are talking about democracy, they must also appreciate and, and understand that it is within my right to do so. And um, um, for the gentleman who decides to issue out a threat that my name is out there, my name has always been out there, and my name has always been in all the other lists that you can think of. And I am not afraid. I'm a Sierra Leonean. Um, I'm made of standard stuff. And uh, I follow the law. And... Um, um, I, I, I believe that um, the proportional representation is not right for Sierra Leone, and that is what I say candidly in the interest of the, of the country. And, um, and you have been asked why you are not part of the, the legal team representing the plaintiffs. Um, with regards to me not being part of the legal team that day, I think I went, I, I went to the doctor that day. I was ill. Even now, I am just recuperating. I was not feeling too good. Um, um, but I've always been there with all the legal team and all the legal representation. They know that. And so if I was not there that day for the judgment, um, well, well, I was not there, but the judgment was read anyway. Nobody waited for me. So, so and my, my presence there was not going to, 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 give, to give the judgment, the, 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 for, for, to give the, judge, the judges, right, uh, the judges to argue otherwise that, in fact, the PR system should not be, be implemented by the electoral commissioner. Once they have made up their minds and they've decided on what is right for the bench as a Supreme Court. That's what they were going to All do, right. irrespective of what whoever we've been, is present we've or been not. We've been able to establish link again with lawyer Indolo Gevao. Um, lawyer Gevao, we apologize for earlier. Um, but just quickly now, what, what, does, what, what does this ruling, I mean, sorry, where does this ruling put the June 24th multi-tier elections? Tama, all what the ruling has said is the fact that a constitutional provision has been invoked and it has been invoked properly. And that the multi tier June 24 election has to be run based on the proportional proper PR um, district block system. So, for me, the owners actually now lay with the electoral commission for them to do the public education. Like I said, all old-time voters 
knows how to vote. There are people in parliament like Honorable uh, Veronica Kadisi who went to parliament through the PR system and up to now she is um, in parliament all this is doing this inning on the first past the post system, which is to tell you we use the PR system just yesterday that people who benefited it and entered into parliament are still in existence, they are still living. So it's just for us to go and vote. Like the Supreme Court said, what is most important is the right of the citizens to vote, which has not been taken away. Would, um, you, would, would, would you at this point, as, I, I mean, as a member of the SLPP, would you want, I mean, would you look at how you, the different political parties, would also scale up education for, um, for the electorate to understand the system better? Because um, I, I, all what the different political parties, including the SLPP, has agreed on um, is that um, there is no enough time. So you, the political parties, also have your education um, role to play. I mean, how much of an awareness would you want to raise? How much of a sensitization would you want to give to electorates to understand the system better? So at the end of the day, we have uh, um, elections that the people really speak and they have um, their, their decisions read out. Some of that is the way to go. You know, we are the people's representatives. Sometimes it baffles me when something has to do with the people, parliament is not being used. Like I told you, I'm just coming from Kailahu. On Saturday, I did a voice recording which is being played in Kailahu every morning, every evening for people to start understanding, those who do not understand what the PR system is all about. The way to go is to use members of parliament and councillors. When we send the message down there, it filters down there within the shortest possible time. The people are expecting us to go talk to them. So if NET can use us, I think they can get the public education done within the shortest possible time. Because nobody understands the PR system as much as we, the members of parliament, we who are primary, bene who primary beneficiaries of the system um, do. You know? So let them use us. We are ready to work. It's part of our job. We are the people's representatives. Our mandate still runs. Let them, let them use us for us to go and tell the people what PR system is all about for those who don't understand. Laya Dumbuya is saying you are claiming the Supreme Court for the judgment simply because you're a member of the SLPP and it favors your party. Laya Dumbuya knows that I'm one of the, I'm one of um, 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 those reunions that is highly critical. I am a very decent gay toy. When it is black, I will call it black. When it is green, I will call it green. He knows me for that just as I know him to be a very decent practitioner. I once told him during the APC days, he had just come for him from the Hague. He sat the magistrate asked SLPP um, supporters who we are in court to witness the case to step outside. And he said, no, trial has to be in, in, in public. He's a decent man. He knows what I am saying is the truth. He filed a very weak case. Their, their case had no limb to stand on. The Supreme Court did just the right thing within the shortest possible time, and they should accept it. I mean, we should not always cry down an institution when it doesn't go in our favor. If that judgment, if I knew the case, I mean, right from the argument, when um, um, Kano Esquire was arguing for on behalf of the, of, 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 of the state, everybody in the court, even lay men, knew the APC was going to lose the case. My mom was there, um, 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 Lady Nane Thomas. She was there. She had to leave the court. She met me at the stairs. She was disappointed. So even people who were not lawyers were really disappointed when um, 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 Abdullah Conte um, um, finished his argument and the state council, the state lawyer started submitting. They had a very weak case. A lawyer is as good as his case. If you had a bad case, you have a bad case. APC had a bad case. And there was no way the Supreme Court was going to rule in their favor just because they are in the opposition or they are, they are APC. The duty of the judiciary is to hold the care of justice on feet until then and let the hammer fall in the right place. Does, does, this, does, does, this, does this ruling put an end to the argument of PR, no PR, and whether or not the conditions that should be met are met or not? I mean, going forward. It certainly does. This ruling certainly does. I mean, the Supreme Court is the highest court of the land. This court has, uh, this court has vindicated the actions of the president. This court has said the, the action of the president in directing that next um, 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 conduct the election by PR system is constitutional. So 
that ends the argument. What every Sierra Union should be looking forward to now is getting the necessary education for you that do not have it and grade yourself up to go and vote. Um, 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 during 2023, during the June 2024 election, using the district block system. It is part of our constitution. It did not come from heaven like manna from heaven. This, I mean, APC came, they met it there. If they knew it was not a good system, they were going to repeal it. They did not repeal it. They left it in our constitution. If SFPP thinks it is a good law, I mean, they will leave it there. Constitutional provisions are meant to guide us. That is the ground norm. So once the Supreme Court has interpreted it to mean to say the actions of the president is constitutional, that ends that argument, my brother. Just quickly, as I, as I, as I asked you for your part in short, for, um, for the APC, this judgment appears to be a nightmare. For the SLPP and the Electoral Commission, for example, it's, I mean, it's a fascinating outcome. But as we, as, as we head towards the June 24th multi-tier elections, what should we focus on and what should be your message of peace? My message of peace, firstly, is for me to talk to my brothers to stop, to stop playing the victim. Like I said, filing that paper, those papers in the first place was trying to play the, 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 the game of the victim. They knew they had no case. Let us respect um, constitutional provisions. Let us respect our institutions like the judiciary. Let us commend them when they do something right. Let us uh, cry them down when we know they, they, I mean, they've come out with something wrong. And let us know we are all but one country, one people. We've got nowhere to go, I mean, but um, Sierra Leone. Let us hold each other together. Let us stand together so that there will be no tornado, but that even if there is a tornado by people who are not patriots, we will be, we will be standing together and it will leave us on battle. I mean, it's, 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 it's politics, Samuel. You've been to America, you've been to England. In those countries, elections come and go without people even realizing that, realizing that there was elections. They just send your ballot paper in your post. You take it at any time of the day, you just go and cast your vote. I mean, we've witnessed elections in Canada, in America, in London, in Sierra Leone, because we think elections without politics, we cannot survive. That is why we, 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 we are having this, this entire hue and cry. I mean, people should be able to survive away from politics and look at politicians as public servants who are there to deliver for, for, for them. All right. Thank you. you know, I always tell people now that petrol is, is 20,000 euros, no SLPPI is going to buy a, is going to buy a liter of petrol for 5,000 euros and APC person buys it for 20,000 euros. If Sierra Leone gets better, it gets better for all of us. Now they are constructing an overhead bridge at River Force. It is not going to be discriminated. We are not going to discriminate as to who uses it. The Mabam Bridge, they don't discriminate as to who uses it. The 24 hour light that we are enjoying in Freetown, they are not discriminating as to who uses it. So when Sierra Leone moves ahead, indeed, we move. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us be part of the revolution of development, which is, which is the agenda of President Bill. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Indulu Gevao, for your time and uh, the fact that you accepted to speak to us in such a short notice. But just quickly, um, um, Lawyer Dumbuya, as we try to um, wrap up the conversation, what, what would you submit as your parting shot? Um, first of all, let me just say this to Mr. Gevao on the issue of the PR system. I am putting out there a challenge to Mr. Gevao. Um, friendly challenge, of course. He knows me. He's a very good friend. He's a bosom of mine. But just for, for the purpose of um, um, edification, to, to educate the, the, the masses, let him come along with the Constitution. I'll come along with mine. And specifically, we come and debate on Section 38 and 38A. That does not mean it is going to change the ruling of the Supreme Court. But let the populace, let the general public see the fine print of 38 and 38A. And where exactly Mr. Gevao is coming from when he's saying this thing is constitutional. For me, I'm saying it's unconstitutional. And um, with due respect to the Supreme Court, they've made their decision. It's final. I have tremendous respect for all of them, all of them in the bench. But that does not mean that they are also infallible. They are human beings. 
They are not infallible. So even um, the most renowned judges in, in London, um, their judgments have been criticized by illegal um, 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 academics who have looked at it. And as time goes on, some of them changed their minds with regards to what they, they initially um, um, decided. Um, with regards to Mr. Gevoy saying that um, Nobody is going, nobody is um, 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 enjoying less of the 24 hours light. Mr. Gevoy knows that we are not enjoying 24 hours light, and that is a political statement which is wrong. And <laughs> you see, this is, these are some of the things that sometimes happen. And when I say Mr. Gevoy is saying it because he's, he's SLPP, he will also say, I'm saying there is no, there is no light because I'm because you're SLPP. But the thing, the, you know, there are practical things. The, the country is, has, has, has totally been put into complete blackout. You know, you have the light going on, and when, when the light goes off, it comes off again. Sometimes it goes forever. We, we never used to, to, to have that in the mm -hmm. country. Right. In any case, um, 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 as I said earlier on, um, the fact that I said I, I we're going to look at the fine prints of the judgment does not mean I have not read the judgment. It's a voluminous one. Mm -hmm. When you are reading a document, you read it at first instance, right. and then for you to get the gist of it, you go over it again, over it again. That's what I was referring to. Mm -hmm. So the person who was saying that I've not got the judgment took my statement out of context. If you had listened to me, I'd said I've had a cursory look at it mm -hmm. in the first instance. So sometimes when we're listening to people, we have to really appreciate uh, and listen carefully before you, you, but anyway, I, I want to I, thank how, how all the Can your advice be to the APC party in exploring other avenues? Well, um, um, I, I cannot say to you now um, what is going to happen, mm. but um, we, um, I'm going to make that representation, and we will sit and talk, and the party will come up, will come up with a statement um, for the general populace. But as I said, it's not, you know, for Mr. Gevau, I think. He was more or less talking about politics. For me, Let me allow some you of these things are not about politics. Let me allow it's you to speak to Sierra Leoneans in yes. terms of peace, yes. the need for us to keep the peace. Yes, it's not all about um, politics, really. You know, and a lot of other people make certain statements. I want to thank them. Whether you criticize me or not, or you, you applaud me, it's well and good. It's within your right, and I appreciate it. But let us all ponder over what we're doing, each and every step we take, every words we, 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 we say out and the actions we take, whether it's at governmental level, whether it's the institution, um, schools, whether it's also here at this studio, AYV, or within the family or within friends, we have to make sure that we take decisions that will benefit the country. Because if we fail to take decisions that will benefit this country, then we have all um, 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 been remiss in our duty to make sure that Sierra Leone um, 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 gets to a point where we all say we are family and um, um, we, we, we can live in peace and irrespective of the political differences, mm. the ideology or whatnot, but we all should make sure, ensure that we do what is right for Sierra Leone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lawyer Lance and um, an aspiring candidate for the Secretary General Post of the Opposition All People's Congress Party. We do apologize um, for the absence of the country's Solicitor General, Lawyer Robert Kowa, um, Francis Gabidon, and um, Lawyer Rashid Dumbuya. We do apologize for their conspicuous absence in the show tonight. Uh, many thanks to those of you who followed, who dropped your comments, shared your thoughts with us on the AYV News Facebook page, those of you who watched us on AYV Channel 53, on the STV Channel 399, and those of you who listened to um, us on the radio FM 101.7. This is where we end tonight's um, show. Be sure to catch a fresh edition of the show, same time, same station next week here. And um, until then, the show has been AYV on Sunday. My name is Samuel Wise Bangura, and up next is our AYV Primetime News. So we'll meet again. Take care of yourself and have a lovely night. <laughs>